Stop control of stage 11. The second pass through the massive Nambucca stage, our ARC teams. The times make for some interesting reading. We've had dramas up and down our ARC field. Here's what they had to say. Tony, the report come through that you'd gone off on one of the early bridges, mate. Oh, just, the back wheel just rolled over the edge of the, the little plank that's on the outside and got hooked on it. And we couldn't go forwards and we're smoking the wheels and trying to go backwards, almost backed off the bridge. Luckily some spectators came along after about five minutes and got logs of wood and got the wheels back onto the, just onto the bridge and off we went again. Darren had just gone past and um, I caught him in about a K and a half and then followed him the whole way in the dust. But I, I, yeah, I didn't want to buck up his day, but man, we were going good through there up to that point. So very disappointing, I tell you. Brenda, there's an obvious first question, which is uh, Scotty's behind you on the road at the moment, is that correct? Yeah, I think there was a really tight corner that actually um, tightened a little bit more, and it was bedrock, and there was wheel marks that went out towards a tree, and then only just after that he's changing a tyre. Okay. So maybe he's got a puncher or something, but uh, they were both out of the car when we went past OK, and I think they'll be coming along fast behind me, but uh, once we seen them, we really backed it off a bit, so we didn't um, push it too hard on the tyres, but pretty clean run in there. We got off the notes in one spot but shows how difficult it is and something like Scott being stopped triggers something in your mind too. So we've got to switch on for this last stage and try and win this leg. Yeah. be great. Scotty, we knew you were stopped. I can see the left front's uh, not as worn as the right so I'm assuming you might have a left front puncher early on. Yeah, probably 17k to go. Uh, just down a hill, um, all, the, all, the, all the cars before it just exposed rock in the middle of the road and we just obviously nicked the left front wheel probably you know, every other corner we do the same, but just a little rock there and instant flat. So took some time to find a place to, to pull over and um, we did an okay change, but uh, pulled out behind uh, behind Brendo. So, uh, you know, overall it doesn't hurt us. Probably a few heat points there, but you know, these things happen. It's all happened here, mate. Uh, the ARC feels every single car having a drama. Tell me you had a clean run. Yeah, actually, the, we've actually sorted the, uh, the idle and yeah, we had some issues with our quad throttle bodies. So uh, we solved that and it seems pretty good. Probably uh, a little bit too stiff in the suspension for that stage, but do you know, we're looking at the bigger picture. So yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm happy with everything. A little bit of shouting going on there, <laughs> mate, and uh, it wasn't me being doing the wrong things either. But um, yeah, the intercom was cutting in and out. So we've got a spare lead in the bag there, so we quickly changed it in the middle of the, uh, the service, uh, in the middle of the stage. Um, really good, yeah, yeah, happy with that. It was uh, nice and smooth through there. Kept the lines flowing as best as I could and uh, yeah, we'll keep pushing on from here. How was Bernie's, uh, he's probably giving you the numbers by finger, was he, mate? He was sort of working okay for you? I'm not sure the choice of uh, one right was the perfect finger to choose, but um, <laughs> yeah, look, I didn't take it personally at least, but um, no, nah, it was fine. We, we've got uh, a pretty close relationship. Um, I know what he wants me to do when he wants me to do it. Uh, I, I do know the stage quite well, um, so it was made life a little bit easier, but um, watching a lot of in-car previously to the event as well. So yeah, we do our own work, so yeah. just in case this sort of stuff. <laughs>